Investigators in Sarasota County busted 30 men who they say used the internet to set up sexual rendezvous with children. In Operation Intercept 2, the person on the other computer wasn't a minor, it was a deputy. News Channel 8 reporter John Rogers joins us now live from Sarasota with details of how all of this went down. John? Hey there, Gail. These 30 men face felony charges. One of them traveled nearly 200 miles to meet what he thought was a minor for sex. Instead, all these suspects met up with deputies and it was all caught on video. But a warning, though, some of the information you're about to hear is a little disturbing. It wasn't exactly the warm welcome these guys were expecting. In a week-long sting, 30 men were arrested in Sarasota County for allegedly trying to have sex with minors. Instead, they were met by deputies. I didn't do anything wrong. I just want to go home. I don't even know why I'm even here. Conversations will start on the internet, in chat rooms, or in any type of forums, message boards. Sarasota County Sheriff Tom Knight said these suspects responded to internet ads and social media posts. Eventually, it progressed into explicit phone conversations, vulgar photos, and then an attempt to have sex. In many cases, not only were they thinking that they were communicating with children or a child, they thought in some cases that they were communicating with the guardian of children or a child. And some came frighteningly prepared. One of the more frightening things was a sex kit, um, more for torture than for toys. So these things that would harm physically a child if they were to have sex with a child, um, which is very disturbing. The sheriff says none of the 30 men arrested were registered sex offenders, and it certainly serves as a warning to parents. They need to know what their children are doing online. All these 30 men face felony charges. The sheriff said it carries a punishment of anywhere from three years to 20 years in prison, and there are more online sextings to come. In Sarasota, John Rogers, News Channel 8.